We like the volume and the texture around here. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. If you're new here and you just found my channel, I'm so, so glad you stumbled across it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos about beauty, fashion, and makeup. And actually today we are doing a hair video. So all kinds of beauty related topics here on my channel. Today I'm just gonna go through my hair routine. I'm gonna start with freshly washed hair and show you how and what products I use every step of the way to get this voluminous, healthy, shiny, bouncy looking hair. If you like hair like this, please keep watching and let's get into the video. So after you guys wash your hair and you're fresh out of the shower, I like to wrap my hair in a little towel. You can get these from Amazon or from Target and you just wanna like towel dry the hair for a little while so that it's not sopping wet before we start this next process. I use different shampoos and conditioners. I'm not stuck on one really, but I do like the Bedhead brand a lot and I do substitute through those. I like the one in the red bottle. I think it's for like intense damaged hair or something like that. And then I like the hydrating one. So this one is the Moisture Maniac Shampoo and Conditioner. Two products that make an actual difference in the shower are these two right here. This I've spoken about on my channel like what, 50 times, but this is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Mask. This I use almost every time that a shampoo, it says you can like use it I think once a week or something like that. I use it every time because I only shampoo my hair like after like a week and I go ahead and shampoo and condition like normal. And then this is the last step and I go ahead and put this mask on my hair let it sit mostly on the mid shaft through the ends for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it out. This is a wonderful product for damaged hair, but your hair doesn't even have to be damaged to use this. This is good for any type of hair, I feel, because it really hydrates and conditions your hair. I also feel like it cuts down on frizz and it really helps with styling as well. Like it makes your hair more manageable and easy to style and brush out everything like it's just amazing and then the other product that i really like is the olaplex hair perfector this is the number three they have like a lot of different ones i think like one two three four five six seven I think they have so many and i'm going to show you another product as well but this one is number three and this is the repair and strengthen hair perfector so this one you put on before you shampoo or condition so when I use this, I don't use this. So this one I don't use as much, but this is really good for damaged hair. So if you have bleached hair that just really needs life and it needs repairing, this will be your guy. You go ahead and you wet your hair and then you towel dry it and you go ahead and put this on, really saturating it and keep it on for at least 10 minutes. And then after you rinse this out, you go in with your shampoo and conditioner like normal and your hair feels so soft and amazing after using this product. I really have noticed a difference, especially after I had just bleached my hair. It really does help with just making the split ends look more healthy and better overall. After we take our towel down and hair is not super, super soaked, I'm gonna go in with a wet brush. I like wet brushes because I just think a comb just takes forever. It hurts. This is just so much easier if you have really tangly hair. And I don't have this product to recommend, but I'll put it on the screen right here. I also really recommend the It's a Tin like detangler that everybody uses. I don't have any right now, but that is a great one if you have really tangly hair and it also gives some extra moisture. But what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is I'm going to go ahead and brush my hair. Don't use a regular brush because you don't want to cause breakage to your hair, but the wet brush really is flexible so it doesn't hurt your hair as much. Now that we're all brushed out and tangle free, I'm going to go in with another Olaplex product. This is the Olaplex number no. seven. This is a hair oil. So this actually is not a mini size. This is the regular size that it comes in because you don't need a lot. I like this oil a lot because it cuts frizz down and it also like bonds the ends of your hair that have damage to them. So what I do is turn the bottle upside down and you tap the bottom of the bottle to get the oil out. And so I have about this much in my hand and I'm going to focus the oil from the middle to the ends of my hair. I don't really put it in the top because I already get really oily hair um, after about three days. So I don't really want to put more oil up there, but for the ends that are really dry and bleached, this works, but it feels really lightweight and nice on your hair. And then another product that I go in while my hair is still really damp 
is the It's a 10 Volumizing Blow Dry Miracle Spray. I've been using this forever and I love it so much. It smells amazing. I just spray it into my hand. I don't spray it directly onto my roots. And then I rub it on my hands and I'm just going to put it in the roots of my hair to give volume. Oh, it smells so good. And that's actually all I do when my hair is still damp. I don't use a ton of products. I feel that my hair is pretty simple and using a lot weighs it down. Now I'm gonna let my hair air dry for 30, 40 minutes. We want our hair to be about 70 to 80% dry and then I'm gonna show you what I do next. Okay, so it's been like an hour and this is what we're working with now. So I actually have pretty curly, wavy, fluffy hair. <laughs> as you can see. So I'm gonna go in and tame it, smooth it, and get it to be less frizzy with my Revlon blow dryer that actually straightens and blows out your hair. I really like this. It wasn't very expensive and it's very easy to use. This gets very hot, so I recommend to put it on the low setting. Make sure your hair is like 80% dry. And what I'm gonna do is just section it into two sections. And then we'll start over here and I get a section of hair, smooth it out. And pull with tension. And I go over the same piece until it's 100% dry. Now we're doing like a rough blow dry because we're going to curl our hair. So we just want to get the frizz out, get it smoother. So. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you were going to do this and just style it like this, you would want to go in and take your time. Really flip the ends under and stuff like that. But right now, I'm just doing like a rough blow dry and smooth. And to get those ends, I like wrap it around and pull through using the tip here. Like this and kind of just roll back up and pull. Roll back up, pull. That puts tension on the ends. So as you can see, this looks already so much more smooth than the rest of my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do all around my head. I'm just gonna speed it up so you guys can watch. that's so much more smooth than it was. If I would have taken the actual time to do piece by piece, it would be extremely smooth, almost look like it has been straightened. But I just do like a rough blow dry just to get some of the frizz out and to just smooth the top layer of the hair so we can go in and curl the hair. You don't have to do this if you have really stick straight hair, but for me or for girls who have curly hair, I do recommend like blow drying and blowing out your hair a little bit. So our last thing to do is we're going to curl or straighten or whatever our hair. I definitely use different styling tools all the time. I really like this uh, three in one I got off of Ulta, I believe. So this one has uh, two other barrels. So it has a smaller barrel and it has a medium barrel and then it has this one. Uh, I'll have to look up the sizes and stuff, but this is the largest one. I think it's like one and three fourths inch. I usually go for the one and three fourths inch because I like a really loose curled look, but sometimes I do go for a tighter curl or sometimes I do go for my hair like straight and sleek with a straightener. Today we're going to use this because this, I feel like it's more of my signature look. So I'm just going to start on one side of my head, curling away from my face. Just separate this. I'll just clip this up here and we'll start in the back of this side of the head. So I'll just take a piece and then brush it out. I'll put the curling iron behind my head and wrap the curl around like this and leave the ends out. Usually I leave the ends out. I mean, I do different things, but lately I've been leaving the ends out just to protect the hair from more damage and I think it looks cute anyways. So I keep it there and then I drop it into my hand for a few seconds to cool and let it out like this. So. They're just loose curls. I'm going to fast forward until I get to my front pieces and then I'll show you those up close and personal so you can see how I curl. We just 
have a few more pieces in the front. So all I'm gonna do is just the same as I was doing really, take a piece, curl it away from my face, hold it for about 10 seconds. Pieces in the front, you wanna just hold them a little bit longer so that they have a little bit more curl to them. I like this wand a lot because it has the three sizes just for an option. I do recommend getting a barrel that has different sizes if you like to curl your hair. Now that we're done, make sure that we let the curls cool before we start going in with our products and our hands and like loosening them. So I'm gonna show you what products I use after I curl. The thing to do is to apply our two products. You can apply a light hairspray if your hair doesn't hold curl as well, but mine holds curl fine. So I actually don't use hairspray most of the time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start separating the curls very gently and they will get looser over time. So this is like the tightest they're going to be. And then second or third day hair, they get a little bit looser, but this is kind of what it looks like right after the first time you curl it. I go in with a dry shampoo and I do this on day one because I've heard that when you apply a dry shampoo the very first day, it keeps your hair from getting oily as fast. And I actually think that this works. So you wanna go ahead and apply that to give some texture and just a preventative measure for oil. And it actually gives me some volume as well, which I really like. Oh, by the way, I should have said this. Uh, my favorite dry shampoo is actually Batiste Dry Shampoo Divine Dark Tint for dark hair, but I have like dark roots, so this works on me. But if you have lighter hair, you could just go with the original or there is a light brown option. And then I'm gonna work that through the roots to just make sure it's distributed nice. And I like to flip my hair over to the side because I have a deep side part. The last step is I take the Amika Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray or any kind of texturizing spray. I go ahead and shake that up and I lift my curls and spray this into the hair for some texture and more volume. We like the volume and the texture around here. Woo, there's like hair products everywhere. So this is what we look like after finishing our curls and putting all of our product in. And as you can see, it looks super healthy. It looks shiny. It looks voluminous. It's all the things that I want it to be. And yes, it does take some steps, but I actually don't use too many products. I feel like it weighs my hair down. Let me actually show you the back too. So that is what we look like. So I hope you guys like this hair routine. If you do like it, let me know with a like below. Also, if you want me to do any other hair tutorials or curling videos, different types of curls, let me know in the comments below and I can do those for you as well. But I was just testing out to try to do like a little routine video, see if you guys like that. Again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.